Hello again, everybody. Necromanticer here at the tippy top of Eleum Lois, and we are about to head out and complete the last few sections of this DLC. At least what I can assume to be the last few sections. We have the key to the garrison quarter, I believe, over on this side of the snowy fortress, and I'm looking to be... Oh, one second. There we are. And I am looking to be clearing out all the side areas that I have yet to find. I believe there's also a whole section of frozen area down by the third bonfire on the level. But I have yet to search that out, and so I'm just going to leave that for a little bit later after I've figured out this whole area. Yeah, so that's where I headed. Right on through. Really now. Luckily, that has a little bit of a side swipe as well, so he's not much of an issue. And you can swing right on... Oh, that's right. These guys. I took a bit of a break, so I am looking out for anything that I'm not necessarily paying attention to, but you can only do so well. There we are. Okay, that's the docks taken care of. How exactly... Hmm... I'm trying to remember how exactly you managed to reach there. I'm starting to suspect I started at the wrong bonfire. Hmm, yes, I believe so. So let's remedy that. Oh. Okay, then. Let's try not to handle this in the middle of the enemies. Let's try that again. Yes, there we are. I get to port back out to my bonfire and travel on abouts. I believe the second bonfire is actually the closest to that path. Because if I remember correctly, it actually drops down onto the path, messing with the area slightly. Okay. Here we are. Now let's try all this again. Nope. Their tracking gets so weird if you actually roll into them when they're attempting that attack. It's like they really don't know how to deal with it. And just some dust curves. I'm still very baffled by the storyline underlying this area because it, it feels so much like it's supposed to be on Orlando. And that just doesn't mesh with the storyline I have set up for my own interpretation. It's very, very strange, and I'm really struggling with how I'm supposed to be interpreting this because of that. There we go. Oh my goodness, these retainers just do not let up. Stop. Okay, now, you, sir. None of your shtick. You're heading... Right on down, and you too. Quick spinning attack the moment you stand at attention, and we'll be ready to go. Pointless. Ugh. I don't know why that's there. It feels just like such a bait and switch, but I don't know. Yes, I believe this is the... Mm? Is it? No. After this guy. Okay. Dodge his thrusts and come up behind and punish him a great deal. Don't even let him stand up. How nice of me. Yeah, right down at the end of this hallway is where we're headed. Oh, so much for that idea. And now he comes out. And uh, come on. Bait him into the swings, get behind him, and punish him with the backstab. It's a very simple strategy. Very, very effective. And as he gets up, set him right back down. Now then, what's behind here? Yes, the garrison ward key. A bonfire. That's good to see. And where, where do we go from here? Oh, down here? Gorgeous view, praise the sun, don't you there, therefore try behind. 
Oh, this is this is not the way to go. Uh, is it the way to go? Oh, okay. You get in this. Oh, is this a slide? Is, is it, it's like what? Okay, I have no idea what's going on. This is a little bit strange. Not gonna lie, I frigid outskirts. Uh. Uh. <laughs> what? What is going on here? Okay, we came. Oh, there's an item here. That's nice. We came from here. Let's just run in one direction until it forces us to go back. There's got to be a wall somewhere. Hasn't there? There has to be. Yes, there is an actual slope to the landscape, so... What happens if I come up here... over this rise? I appear to be... heading into nothing. Oh! What is that? What is... Okay. Hello. Ouch. Oh. Oh, what the... What kind of a moveset is that? What is this thing? This is Devil Ice Horse. Uh... What? No, no, no. I was like, when do those actually home in? Right on time for it to charge me. Okay. Okay, that's a double hit, so I need to dodge twice. Jesus! What on earth is that, and where am I even headed? I, I'm completely lost at this point. There are no landmarks. And there's no borders, so... Am I heading in the right direction? It looks like it. This is where the sunbeams are coming- okay. Okay, so if I reach the very edge, I can get a clear-ish look at the area. Oh, no. Was that just a lull in the storm? Giving me a chance to get my bearings? Oh, another horse. These horses are no joke. Can the double hit? Yes, it can. The double hit will take them out if I get them to half health. At least the double hit with the combo. Now the big question for me is, are there a limited number of those horses? Or do they just... Oh! <laughs> They're friggin' deadly. Okay. There we go. There we have it. Jesus, man. No remorse from those things. You've really got to watch your back. Just follow the border. Nobody? Good. Okay, so we're coming up against a bigger ridge, I think, maybe? No? No, nothing of the sort. Just keep going. Okay, so we got a brief moment of clarity, and it looks like I'm circling a big white abyss. Lovely. Let's get back to the wall. That sounds like a horse. No, it sounds like a storm. Uh, where's the wall? Okay, I was like, did I lose the wall? That's basically the only thing that has me going still. I suppose it might have been a better idea to follow from boat to boat, but... Oh, that's definitely a horse. Jesus. They have no mercy. Whoops. Got too greedy there. Come on. There we go. That attack looks to be the best moment to punish them. Oh, that is an AoE, and it is painful. No, that's not what I meant to do. It's not what I meant to do. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, God, those souls. 
they're basically lost into the ether at this point. Yeah. Okay, let's try that again. And this time, follow the boats? Maybe? Hopefully? Give me something to work with here, game. Give us something to work with here. <sighs> okay, so we are here at this boat. There's a boat right over here. There's bloodstains, but there's another boat. If we keep following these boats, they should maybe lead us somewhere? No, there's a boat over there. Okay. Where's the next boat? Any boat? Anybody? Oh. Oh, what the hell? Oh, what the hell? It was just nothing. Is that where I'm supposed to go? Yeah, there looks to be some sort of... outcropping over there. Do I just sit still and wait for the lapses in the storm? Or do I, like, try and make it to certain... checkpoints while I'm waiting for the storm to dissipate? Hmm. Well, I think we can wait out the storm here till we can get a little bit better direction. Okay, yes. What is that? That looks important, so let's head there. Also, can I see my blood zone? My blood sign from that here? No. Okay. If ever I get caught by a horse, I'm just going to have to kind of sit still for a moment because I'd have lost my way in the actual fight. Uh, here we are. What is this? This is a dried root. Some barrels. And a fat lot of nothing. Oh, a mirror hat. Wonderful. Okay. So that's the way we need to go. Basically perpendicular to the structure. Anything else here? Anything? Maybe on this side? Nope. We are SOL. Just follow along the side of this building and hopefully that leads us somewhere. No, oh, no, no, no. These horses, man. They can be staggered, though, which is really nice. Yeah. Put them down. Oh, and there's a hollow. Where the... Why can't we see the horses? Okay, that's him taken care of, and we can grab this. And I believe it was headed that way. You gotta be ever vigilant against those horses, man. They will mess you up if they get the drop on you. Goodness. This is a really just surreal area. Okay, I've kind of... Kind of lost my way. Let's, uh... Head this -ish way? Anything? Oh, no! There is a horse coming at me. And if I can keep this facing, that'll be good. Oh dear, back off from the AoE. Nope. Ow. Nope. Nice try, horse. Ah, Jesus. Just doesn't want to let me do anything. Oh, and there's another one! That's not even fair. I basically have wasted all my time for until the next passing of the storm. And I get shot right in the face. <sighs> what on earth? And I was so close to whatever the hell that is. And it looks like there's a boss fog, too. God. This is a really stupid area. I'm, I'm really not a fan of this. I mean, it's one thing to just slightly complain, but no, this looks like 
incredibly stupid design. It, it feels like the Cenobia Desert from... Whatchamacallit? Final Fantasy X, only without a mini-map to, like, partially guide you. There's just nothing. You can go pretty much anywhere, and there's only a very select direction that's going to actually yield anything. Very, very annoyed at that. I, I don't like this at all. Until you wait for the storm to clear up, you're basically wandering around in circles. Yeah, if I just head straight, I can make it to that one. Can I reach the crest in time to see the second heading? I cannot. So let's just go to the location we know. Yeah, no, this is this is really frustrating. I'm... You know, the other challenge routes, they were annoying for minor passing flaws. This seems annoying from a sheer design perspective, like... This is built from the ground up to be a suck area to play. Like, I'm fine with creating an interesting area that does things that don't show up in the rest of the game. But when you create an area that is this just unfun and anno- yeah. I'm okay with these horses. I'm not okay with the visibility. The horses aren't really a problem. They're just me messing up and kind of failing to properly react. But the whole the whole icy area in general, the fact of the storm actually obscuring your vision so you can't tell where you're going and you have to wait to see landmarks, especially when you have to walk so long in... You know, I don't actually know even which way to go from the starting location. I think it's this way. I think it's directly opposite the first boat. But no, this is just a really terrible area. This is the kind of design that makes a game unfun to play. When it takes a long time to set back up and try again, and is incredibly punishing for contrived reasons once you actually set up. So, yeah, no, this is... I'm going to reserve my final judgments for when I do a more in-depth run, but no, this is seeming like a pretty damnable area. I'm nonplussed by this whole affair. If it weren't for the fact that I can one-combo them, if done properly, then I would be even more annoyed. And you see, those... Those horses are an even bigger problem, is that every time they strike, you have to wait for the storm to reorient yourself. Unless you're actually, like, actively using prism stones. Which is, you know, that's an interesting way to get players to use prism stones. But, you know what? Let's, let's actually equip those. Do I have any on this character? I'm sure I have some. Somewhere. None? Hmm, I don't know what I did with them. I had some at one point, but I don't anymore, so... So much for that idea. Anything around here? Okay, so we can get inside. There are hollows inside. Oh, a Ferris Lockstone contraption. Why do I feel like this is a trap? Is it a trap? No, it's healing water. Don't necessarily see the use of that, but I'll take it. Okay. Nothing in these crates. Doesn't seem like there's anything else of use. This is just a little port in a storm. Let's human up while I'm here. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Well, let's check around this side of the building. I don't know where I'm actually even supposed to be headed next. Wonderful. And it doesn't look like there's anything valuable in or around this building, so... 
I don't even see why it's here other than a nice little checkpoint. Uh, it even looks like there might be a second level, but you certainly can't access it. No, I am very, very anti whatever the hell this place is. Uh, yeah, whatever. I'm just going to mash R1 until you die. How's that working for you? Yeah, suck it. Well, there's something over there. Let's head that way. I believe there was a hollow slightly askew over here, so... Yep. Oh! It's a Ferocin Knight. I'm really wondering what all the Ferocin connections are. It seems very strange. Ah, uh, no. No, no, no. Not today, horsey. Not having your crap. Mm-hmm. Yeah, whatever. I'll take it. No. I can just R1 spam you to death, and that's exactly what I'm going to do, because you're a stupid enemy and there's no reason to fight you in any other way. What do you even drop? Small orange bird. Yeah, that's going to be so helpful. Ugh. No, this is... This is bad. I don't know what FromSoft was thinking when they made this, but this is bad. Nope. And there's another one of those friggin' knights. Ugh, stop. How can you dodge a friggin' twin blade? This is madness. Oh, come on. Be fair. No, this doesn't look to be Ferocin. This guy's got the Archdrake helm and a Lion Clan Great Axe. And he takes hits like it's nobody's business, so good on him. Now we have to just hold still and wait for the storm to pass, because it's retarded. <sighs> you know, if I knew the proper direction to go, I could probably orient myself based on those light rays. But since I don't... Oh, no, I, w I was almost there. I... <laughs> practically turned back, but since I don't know the actual end location I'm gunning for, it's pretty worthless. So, let's see what we have in here. Anything? Oh, it looks to be something big over there. Woohoo. Oh, it's one of those golems. Yeah. Lovely, you can throw big enemies into this BS area. Congrats. Anywhere am I supposed to go from here? It doesn't look like there's anywhere in specific. Let's wait out the storm again, because, you know, what's more fun than waiting around? You know, does is there a way to gimmick this? Does equipping the Mura hat... It's cool that they give you that without the mask. No, does... I'm trying to see if equipping anything here is going to... Oh, Charred Luis Helm, that's what that is. There goes hat. Seeing if equipping anything just allows me to see through the storm and where I'm supposed to be headed. That looks like an important place that I should be going. Turns out, it does not. Oh, and I've got a friggin' horse coming at me. Fan friggin' tastic. Nope. <sighs> nope. Just die. I don't care if I waste some weapon durability on you, it's totally worthwhile. Durability well spent. And there's another one. Yes, if I can get the dash attack, I can R1 spam them. Okay, this looks like some sort of end point. Yeah, that's what this is. 
Is there any bits of loot along the way? No? Who cares? I, okay, once you've actually come all the way here, the... Are those chests? Are those chests over there? I've got to know. Those look like chests. Which means I have to go and get them. Which also means I have to navigate the precarious edge along this here cliff. No, some of these are just boxes. Probably boxes marking out the edge of the cliff for the unwary traveler. Is that all they are? It is? Nope, 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 nope. You have fun, pony boy? I am gone. You can't catch me. I'm just running away. La 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 la, not listening. Yep, I'm gone. You have fun spewing your ice lightning everywhere. I'm just gonna go. Is there a boss? If there's a boss fight, I'm gonna be really pissed. Because if I fail, that mean uh, If I fail this, I'm going to have to do that whole thing over again. And that is just pants on head retarded. Yep. Oh god, it's it's Ava 2.0. Except it's Lud. So ignore me. And that's a new one. Does it give you time to heal? That's nice of it. Nope. It does take good damage. That is the one saving grace I am seeing thus far. Oh my god. No. 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 Forget this. Forget everything about this. No. If there was three or more, I'm just gonna be done. There is no, no way you can redeem this fight, in my opinion. Okay. That's you taken care of. Nope. Try again. Thank you for obliging. Yeah, AoE. I'll take it. Because it lets me heal, and I still get the damage. I rolled preemptively. Bad idea. Just slaughter him from beneath. Get a nice heal. Nope. Not today, kitty cat. One more hit and he's dead. Come on, do the lunge jump. No. I've had it with you. I've had it with this entire area. Victory achieved. God. In case you can't tell, I really don't like this area. This whole place is just absolutely infuriating. This is... Wow, this is actually really annoying because this has been FromSoft's biggest mistake so far. Like, out of... What? What? What is this? What was that? Are you kidding me? That entire side passage is just to get so the souls of Zalan and Lud, the king's pets. Each of the Ivory King's seven beasts were was conferred a specific duty. Zalan's was the mercy killing of exiles, and Lud's was the mercy killing of exiles. You're kidding, right? So that whole area is for exiles. Not only that, but the whole area is designed to kill people. And I just walked in there willingly of my own accord. Oh boy. Yeah, no. I am... Wow. Wow, that is... Mmm. 
Yeah, I am really pissed off at the game for that. That was one of the worst experiences I've had with Souls. At least that's my first impression. And I think that's going to be one of the, if not the only bit of content that I consistently skip no matter what the circumstance. I cannot foresee a reason other than actually needing the souls of Zalan and Lud to actually head that way. The whole area is horrible. Wow. No, I'm... I'm really taken aback. I'm sure you can tell, but this is something entirely new for me. FromSoft made something horrible? This... This doesn't happen. That's out of character. This is not true to form. Not only that, but they use a copycat boss at the end of it. And not only a copycat boss, but a copycat boss of a cat with a pair of copycats. It's rather punny, I'll admit, but it's also the just worst decision that... It, is that a mimic? That's a mimic, isn't it? Yep. Something is really wrong with the lighting. And I don't know what it is because I don't have any special lighting. I just have the base, like, vanilla game. Oh. And it doesn't even give me the souls for it. Fine. I'm gonna open this chest. You can't stop me. Oh, you can stop me. I would have assumed that my iframes would have let me finish that off. No such luck. No, you don't. There we go. Come on. This way. Mmm, ouch. Okay, let's try that again. You know what? I don't even care anymore. I'm really... I'm on tilt. I'm on tilt because of that whole area and boss fight in general. Hmm. Which is really bad because I am going to have to face the end boss pretty soon once I've cleared out this little extra side path that's cleared up now that the ice is gone. So I really need to get my head in the game. Okay. I need to lure him down here so he doesn't activate any of the golems when he dies. And do others follow? Really, that should have been a one hit. Well, a one combo. Come on, there we go. You whiff that, and I wreck your back. Lovely. Swig away on some more Estus, and now for you, my good friend. You're probably too far away? Yeah, oh. Oh. Well, don't I feel sheepish. I actually needed them in order to access that chest. Which means I'll have to come back for it. Nothing behind you. Nothing behind you. So let's lure you around the edge. And then dispatch you. That sounds like a good plan. You, I can leave. I don't need you. I don't need to deal with your crap. Let's see what's behind this way. Oh! <laughs> Thank you, message. I'm gonna rate that. Where does it take me? What's, what is down there? Well, if there's an illusion on that side, is there one on this side? Nope. Okay, it takes me to this pathway. Which is where in the grand scheme of things? I don't know. But it has enemies, so... Priorities first. Take down the enemies, and then move on to exploration. There you have him. And you too, buddy. Yeah, that ice javelin is not going to do you any good, because I can just heal up after you hit me. Down with you, sir. Nope. There we go. Lots of combos. Oh, hang on. What's that? 
There we go. Serves you pr right proper. Try below. Is there some sort of drop jump that I need to get to? So, might need to head that way. There's something at the end of this hallway, so let's check what's down the other end before I make that drop. But otherwise, that seems like the way to go. Is that an illusion as well? Lies. Vicious lies. Okay, so we have a stairway. That's quite a fine trade. I can S this back up to full. And not even worry. It gets me this chest, which has... A fire clutch ring. That's all the clutch rings. I was wondering where we were going to get that. So, now we've got all of those. Is there anything else special in this DLC? There should at least be something down this path. And I know there's something in that uh, one big chest that is in the middle of all of those golems. So, we'll have to have a check on that later. Yeah, I should have known it wasn't a mimic because it didn't have the weird lighting. What have we here? Twin-headed great bow? What is that? Does it... And the better question is, does it fire two arrows? Do I have any great arrows? I do. Okay. It, it has two... Skull head things? Let's see, does it fire two arrows? I am disappointed. What's the point of it? Okay, it's just a pure strength bow. It's a stronger strength bow. Or at least it looks to be a stronger strength bow than the... Uh, um, whatchamacallit? Dragon? No. Yes, the Dragon Slayer Great Bow. Which is basically the strongest great bow you can grab for a strength build, even though it does actually take a bit longer to fire than the Elan great bow. Let's tag that bonfire again. We need to dash on up past everybody and get to the chamber with the golems in in order to hopefully this time not muck it up and actually trigger all well, the relevant golems. I don't want to actually trigger all the golems. That would be very bad idea. So, draw you over here. Oh dear. I feel like I made a mistake. Oh, come now. Let's... Oh. I really am on tilt, and that would normally mean stop the recording, but... I'm almost done. As far as my memory serves, there's only what's in that chest and the final boss before I'm completely done with at least what I've discovered of the DLC. This is a blind run, so of course I will have missed certain things here and there, but this is everything that I can reckon, at least with my limited knowledge. You know what they say, if you first you don't succeed, try, try again. Though I don't think they meant to be as zealous or as unchanging as I'm being. You're not going to follow me up? I don't believe you. I think you're going to follow me up in your own good time. Which means I want to wait and take you out before you get the chance. That way I can deal with the guys upstairs at my leisure. You, sir? There is some really weird chanting going on. Was that from the retainer? Oh, and he didn't activate either of them, so... Yeah, it sounds like it's coming from the retainer. Okay. Let's... Let's get a backstab on you. Can I get rid of it? Nope. But I don't need it. I can be smart about it. Wait for it. Did I say I don't need it? I meant that I don't need it. 
Hopefully this isn't the back of the chest. It's kind of hard to tell, but knowing FromSoft, they wouldn't allow you to access the chest with just a single soul, so... Fingers crossed. Two more hits should be enough. Yes, indeedio. And I was right. That is the back of the chest. Which means, once more onto the breach. Gotta go back and try it again. Because I really want to know what's in here. Especially if they've gone to such lengths to keep it guarded. I have full Estus. Should I equip Flame Weapon? I think... I think going into the, that encounter with Flame Weapon on would be a boon. There we go. Oh, there we go. Dodged all of you guys. Coming up and around. Anybody want to face me up here? Feel free to try. There we go. And nobody else? Lovely. Head right on through then. Time for a flame weapon just for that extra little bit of damage. And I have to be really cocky about this because I need to kill him within range of this. Like that. One more. There we go. That's both... Oh, I didn't mean to do the follow-up. But that is both golems awakened at the very least. Which means I can dip out, heal, and start facing them in a slightly smarter way. Will this hit both? It will, but not for much. Roll? Nope. Doesn't give me the roll. That's kind of sad. Can I lock you in into an animation? I can, and then I can get hit by said animation, so... That's not good. They're very slow and lumbering, but surprisingly agile once they're actually fighting you. None of that. That seems like it would be a grab attack, and I do not myself see myself living through that. Well, that's a really annoying delayed attack. Oh, why do I feel like this is a bad idea? That's why. That is why. That is exactly why. But that means that I can dip out over here, take her on, and keep kiting. If I kite long enough, I can actually come full circle and just dash past them to grab the chest. Like this. See, isn't this so much simpler? And another Ice Rapier. I could dual wield those if I was a Dex character. Curved Nil Greatsword. Interesting name. Very strange. Let's just come up here to make sure that I haven't missed anything along this path. Yeah, this is where it comes out to drop right off at the top. Drop right off at the top. That's what I meant to say. It'd take too long to dash down there, so let's feather out. And let's travel on over. Grand Cathedral. I just warped immediately here to the Grand Cathedral, so we can cut that on out. Human up, and I have the two extra White Knights, which means I will be able to head down into the Chaos, knock out both of the extra spawners, and have at... what's his face? Whatever the Ivory King is. Yes, you can see all three are at the ready. Maybe I'm supposed to be the fourth knight. That might be the symbology there, but... Let's get ready to rumble. Oh, I definitely don't... Oh. Do I not have anything equipped? For a second, it looked like I had the Great Bow still equipped, and I was like, I do not want any extra weight in this encounter. 
I need to be light on my toes. And we drop into the old chaos. That's a pretty, pretty mental entrance. Not gonna lie. Demons of fire, assail me. Let's see what you got. Nothing. Nothing is what you got. Yeah. How do you like it? How do you like getting gang banged? How does it feel? Nah, humbug. Can't hit me. I'm out of range. Yeah. I still think you should be able to backstab them. Ooh, that was a mess up. One, and another one. Two. Ooh, ouch. Ouch. Once more. Is it going to be an ouch? Ouch moment? No ouch moments. Keeping myself high on the actual Estus count. That's good. We've got one of these spawners taken out. That's also good. Let's actually use an Estus, because they are all focusing me down. Which is very bad for my health. I want to hit that guy. Oh, that lock-on messed me up, but it was actually for the better, since it helped me avoid the damage. Oh, that's going to knock out the second spawner. Which means there's only going to be one left. Which is A-OK -okay in my book. Yeah, spinning and winning. This isn't even a halberd. Yes. These knights are actually incredibly helpful. This is pretty insane. No, no, don't, don't start yet. There's still one spawner left up. Oh well. It seems that this is what we're getting ourselves into. All my buffs. Burnt Ivory King. That's that's the final boss here. Are you gonna trigger or not? Okay. Let's see, who's coming at me first? You are. And you're hitting me first. Lovely. I will take that trade. I will not take that trade. Oh, wonderful. My knight's doing work. Okay. Nope. No, you don't. There we go. Wonderful. That is the last knight, so let's just get him out of the way, and I can finally have a nice one-on-one -on -one fight with the good king here. Which actually shouldn't be anywhere near as difficult as it was before. I kind of wish that he would get a better or improved moveset if you manage to take down all of these spawners, but it doesn't look like it. Come on. That's the best you got? I'll take it. No, you don't. I remember that from last time. Ha ha ha. Call me Twinkle Toes. Nope. I have iframes, son. What have you got? An icy sword. No, you don't. Come on. Have at you. Yeah, this is a fight. See how you like it. Now that you don't have all your little bodyguards. Delay all you want. I'm still coming for you. One last hit. Oh, no. There we go. Whew. So that's how that encounter is supposed to go. I'm still kind of proud of how I did the first time, but yeah. That feels a hell of a lot better. I'm almost sad to see the guys go, because those, those knights were actually really good at staggering the charred versions of themselves. And that's it. That is the crown of the Ivory King. Look carefully. 
God, this looks like Lost Isolith. This looks like a massive hole in the ground. I have no idea what happened here. Or why this is Lost Isolith. Or why L.A.M. Lois is an Orlando, but, uh... You know? I don't think there is a good explanation. Is there something going on over there causing a large yellow glow or I'm just am I just imagining that? Nope, it's still just a burning pit of lava. Time to pour it on out and that should be it. See what the Lady of Dark has to say because I still need to reap her soul. I'm not done yet. Oh, and let's see what that soul says. Soul of the Ivory King. Soul of the Ivory King of Elaine Lois. The proud Ivory King was ever merciful and devoted himself to the protection of, this, of his great land until he was devoured by the flames of chaos. This wondrous soul, the wondrous soul of this great king, can be used to acquire numerous souls, or yada yada yada. Well, okay then. I am so confused as to what the actual storyline here is. Ugh, <sighs> boy. Back in the Grand Cathedral of Poor Lighting? You've grafted my one way. You betcha I have. No, I have no regrets. So give me your soul. I was born amidst the dark. I know, and that's why I need to kill you. Manus was a bad dude. He had to go. The dark shattered into tiny pieces, one of which was me. Mm hmm. And your little sister was real busy in your absence. How frightened I was. A frail thing, born from but a splinter of dark. I felt that I might simply disappear. Well, even Manus had his feminine inside. I am, in fact, the incarnation of my father's fears. That's cool, I guess. I saw that the king of this land was strong. Mm -hmm. I sought him only to sustain myself, to smother my fears. Interesting. Oh, he definitely knew. I was born of fear, and my lord provided comfort. And so, here I remain, heiress to my lord's wishes, watching over chaos. Uh huh. Until the end. Nowhere in that whole manifesto do I hear you giving me your soul. The knights of Alayam Lewis were swallowed by the chaos. Yeah? The ones who weren't, still pretty badass. Where their souls still remain. I pray for their deliverance. That's all well and good. The knights of Alayam Lewis, I pray. Um... Okay, sorry. Listen, lady, you ha you haven't given me your soul, and I I can't make my way up to you. What is this? What? Is Come on! Come on! You're kidding me! You're kidding me, right? <sighs> okay, lady, I have. Had enough of your crap. We are doing this one way or another. I have great bows. In fact, I just gather yeah, that's not a great bow at all. No matter how much it looks like one. I just grabbed this hulking beast of a great bow, and it's time to see what it can do. 
That's that's not you. That is you. And you're squishy. No, no, that's, that's, talking to you is not getting me your soul, so let's do what works. Is, is this, like, growing exponentially? Okay, looks like I'm getting headshots. Two more shots, or one more shot, I can't tell. And last one. No, come on. Yeah. I I came too far to deal with your crap, lady. I can do the proper way some other time. I'm coming up. Such a cool looking area, I gotta admit. I until you look at the lighting. I did it. By the way, fine work. Yes, I'm sure. Well, okay then. Let's let's read her soul and get ourselves on out of here. Had enough of this ice. Soul of Ilana the Squalid Queen who rests beside the sleeping dragon of the ethereal sanct- No, that's- that's Ilana. Soul of Aslana, silent oracle. Soul of Aslana, oracle of Eleon Lois, who prays in silent vigilance. The child of dark, in reverence of the apocalypse, devotes herself to a ritual in hopes of appeasing a raging flame. The wondrous soul of this augur of fear can be used to create numerous yada yada yada. Okay. See, that's something cool. Now, can I go back into that place, or will this fall kill me? That's kind of one of the last questions I have. But this time, I'm leaping. And I can make it. Fun, fun. Oh, there are no knights with me this time. Hmm. Well, you guys have fun. I'll peace out. Fine work? Fine work indeed. It would seem that I've managed to clear through the entire DLC. I wonder why that statue doesn't have a head. Kind of strange. There's probably some relevance to that. But yes, there we have it. I am going to take this time now to head over to both Strayed and Ornifex to see what those souls that I've gathered can create. I have three little kitty cat souls just milling about in my inventory and one soul of Eslana. And I am really curious as to why exactly I would ever want to face Lud and Zelen. Because at this point I'm really never seeing myself heading that way again unless I want the Mira hat. Oh, oh, the blue smelter sword. It does magic damage instead of fire. That's that's actually really cool. Okay, the Ivory King Ultra Great Sword requires Soul of the Ivory King. Ultra Great Sword of the Ivory King of Alam Lois, wielded with both hands to realize its full strength. It is said that the Ivory King was once the highest ranking knight in his home of Ferosa, famed for its God of War. Eh? Eh? God of War, people? Yeah? After taking his crown, they say he was first, the first to swing his sword in time of need, be it for his homeland or his people. Cool dude. I like him. The Ivory Strength Sword. This is, it looks like a raw dex weapon. Sword of Fabian, Knight of Aleum Lois. This blade, crafted with ivory or native to the land, harnesses souls to, lash, to slash at foes. Sir Fabian led the loyal knights of Laeum Lois straight into the depths of chaos to exterminate the terrible things that dwindled there, that dwelled there, but not one of the selfless knights returned. Poor guys. Lois Greatsword. That's, this one requires Ava, this one requires Lud. 
And where's Zelen? Oh, that's... It's just called a Lamb Lois? That's cool. And there should be one more around here somewhere. Yes, Soul of Zalan, the king's pet, so let's check those out. Great Sword of the Knights of Lois. The Knights of Lois were commanded to strike down each malformed terror that arose from chaos, and they would not hesitate even if they if it were their own king. That's really cool. And Lois Shield, Shield of the Knights of Lois. The Knights of Lois were commanded to yeah, same description. Okay. Now then, this Elaeum Lois, it is a dex scaling curve sword, of course. Looks like it has high base damages, but probably scales poorly with upgrades. Curved sword forged from the soul of Aslana, formed by two curious blades. This sword can restore an ally's HP with a hit from its strong attack. Really? That's... I don't know how to feel about that. The enigmatic Aslana quietly found a place at the Ivory King's side, and when his strength was fully drained, he conferred this sword inscribed with the name of his land to her. Well, that sounds like it would be popular in the uh, uh, Brotherhood of the Sun, the um, Heirs of the Sun Covenant. Sounds like a really good co-op item. Though I don't know if it triggers when you actually hit your friend with it, strong attack, or you hit with it, strong attack, triggers a heal for your friends. I should very much like to have that explained, but we shall see. And strayed, my old buddy. There we go. I messed that up. But it's fine, these guys are way low level. I have nothing to fear. Trade. What, do you really have nothing new? Really? I'm kind of disappointed. Really? Absolutely nothing new, Strayed. You're a disappointment, I gotta say. And finally, let's check back at Majula and see what Malin has in stock. Here we are. Malin, old buddy, what you got for me? Hopefully some good stuff. Eh, yeah, I need armor. Nothing new? Maybe Malentia sells it. Sure? Oh, it could also be sold by Majerald. I remember that all the ivory, not the ivory, but the Iron Crown stuff was sold by him. Yeah, let's let's go check him. And that should be it for the episode once I've headed over and seen what I can see. Good to see the Dragon Bro Covenant still going strong. Lots of bridge PvP for those interested. Ooh. Wonderful little double kill there. Madrol, buddy old pal. I don't need any incense today, but let's see what you've got for armor. Nothing new. I would have expected to be able to get someone's armor from the DLC, but it would appear not. Also, that pot's indestructible. Interesting. Well, it would appear that is all for this Ivory Crown DLC. After I've had a lot more time to go over it with a fine tooth comb, tooth comb on some other characters, I will be heading back through with Faros the Vagabond. So, look forward to that coming out in a little while going to be getting these episodes uploaded as soon as I can, so thank you all so much for your patience. It's been an absolute pleasure playing through these. While this last segment of the DLC has left a little bit of a sour taste in my mouth, most of the entirety of all three DLCs have been absolutely fantastic. I would still recommend each and every one of them as an 
as a complete like compulsory buy to anybody who intends to play through Dark Souls 2. That's my official word on the matter, and thank you all so much for watching. Have a great day.